Hi, I'm Jacob Cebulski. Welcome to Rapid Miner Data Mining and Data Visualization. So um, let's go put it back to 2017. I'll save it back. And I'm going to split the data differently. Uh, what's cross validation? Well, first of all, let me just get cross validation operator here. Cross validation, it's here. The way the operator works is as follows. Um, I'm going to double click it. It's, it's one of those operators with its own internal logic. So when I double click, I go into this operator and inside has two parts. What's on the left hand side will be model building. What's on the right hand side is model testing, training and testing. The way the operator works, I'm going up now, is that it takes all of the data, all of this data, and splits the data. So, um, it splits how? Let's make it stratify sampling. Basically, it performs the task of the split data. But it does it differently. Instead of splitting into two parts, here I can split it into many parts. I'm going to use here 10 parts. And what it means, it will run 10 times. Um, it will use nine of those parts for training. The model will be built. And then it will use the remaining one part and pass it to model application and performance measurement. It will conduct this 10 times and each time the performance will be different. And we have 10 different performance measures and what are we going to do? We'll get the average of those. So that's what's going to happen. It actually gives us much better confidence that the luck was involved. We could actually split to 20 faults. The faults are the parts uh, in the cross-validation. So we don't need split data because it will do it for us. Um, however, I need to drag those operators inside the cross-validation operator. So I'm going to cut that. Cut. It disappeared from here. I go inside, double-click and paste it on the left hand side and link it and it produces a model that's all it does that model will traverse from the training and we pass to for tra testing but different data set will be passed to it by the operator so here I'm getting the nine tenths of the data set here I'm going to get only one tenth of the data set. Those two, I'm selecting them together. So it's control click, cut, go inside and paste it here. So just line them up nicely. So I get the model from the left hand side. That model was built using nine paths nine folds and the remaining one fold is now passed into application. This labels the data, that means predicts, and the performance is output. The whole thing is run 10 times, produces 10 different accuracies and then result can be output. So now we could look at what model was produced and that model is actually built it's not the model used internally which was developed on nine parts each time it's a model developed in all parts I could look at the performance of the model Oop, let's first let's look at the the test data which is produced and the performance I'm really only interested in the performance here Let's run it. Okay. 
it's only 70 percent that's lower than the 74 percent which we obtained when we were running on the same diet that we used for training it's not as good as 72 or 73 percent which we received when we were lucky depending on the split using the random seed it's something less it's only 69.94 percent but this is realistic because um, we tried many different splits of the data so um, that's the model we never received anything on testing because we never outputted anything there so this was performed only to give us a better indication how would the model perform when it's pushed into practice yeah. we thought that 10 we still have rely on luck, make it 50 or just wait a bit longer 50 faults, that means 49 parts will be used for building the model one part for testing the model we'll wait a little bit longer it was quick um, it's still around 70 percent and a bit so the small oscillation they're going to happen but not much I'm going to make it 10 let's save it this is actually very very important um, now this is some of the more advanced techniques um, we use cross-validation of models and just different ways of doing it we could either split the data into 10 parts and give some parts for training some for um, testing or we could randomly sample data many times um, as um, you know use 100 percent of data for training but with repetition um, uh, that means uh, there'll be some data always left um, for testing we could use all data to build a model it's called leave one out and just test it on a single observation now since we have 3037 uh, data observations um, We'll be running 3037 times and we'll wait a long time but if you have a small data set that's exactly what we do leave one out method if you click it that means we're running it as many times as their examples let's save it because that's very exciting um, we have done cross-validation okay we're nearly finished here um, but the question is can we improve it uh, how can we improve it uh, we could improve it by um, paying more attention to the values uh, in those attributes or variables that we selected um, we could also improve it by looking at different model and for example with KNN um, we could ask the question what if we had seven or ten or twenty or a hundred neighbors we need to look at uh, we could randomly change them let's try the seven and run it okay it's an improvement seven is better than five uh, with five we had 69.94 with seven 72 is cross-validated model so there could be some variation we get better result with 7. How about 15? Run it. And 15, it's better than 7. Um, maybe we could use 20 or 25. It's still better, 25. How about 100? Maybe we'll get a perfect score. okay it looks like steady uh, 200 300 at some point it'll go down so it starts going down so um, if you don't want to wait long I think at 15 we were getting good result anyway and then nothing changed at 74 there's a small variation um, uh, if you want to get exactly the same results as me again we could use a local random seed let's say 2017 and I want to run it now with 
15 you should get the same result as me 73.23 um, that is um, something we do we often build a special model just to test the parameters of my um, classifier to see what would be the best combination of parameters and we actually create a little experiment to do that and we use appropriate um, uh, operators from rapid miner we output all of the results we could plot one against the other and see what happens we will not do it here um, another thing we have mentioned how about we use a different um, classifier a different type of predictive model we use KNN how about if we use a tree um, something called gradient boosting trees usually they give very good results um, so I'm simply going to relink let's hide it disable gradient boosted tree is a decision tree type of um, operator um, it's not one tree it's many trees um, if you click on it you can see its parameters uh, in this case We'll draw 20 trees. Um, each tree will be built, each one will be slightly different. And when the tree is applied, those trees will specialize in parts of the data and they will be voting between themselves on the outcome uh, later on. So, a bit like KNN, but we don't actually compare against individual observations. We abstract away from those observations to build trees on different subsets of the data and usually we get much better results not necessarily here let's see it's much slower process you can see um, the clock ticking slowly so tree building uh, it's an effort for rapid miner but we actually get a better result uh, slightly better only 74 percent and the kappa is creeping up and so as a lot of experimentation here and uh, the different 20 trees are created here you can see they are very different and bushy and they use different decisions they look at cause of injury body parts and eventually make decisions as to what should be the outcome um, as before we look at the outcome um, look at the confidence levels for are the subrogation being 0 and 1 and here the confidences are between minus uh, negative numbers and positive numbers and sometimes we get tiny little trees maybe even a stump of a tree this is uh, predictive analytics um, it's a lot of excitement uh, every time you do something really exciting you save your work uh, so here I save the work I say experimenting with different classifiers with different methods of cross-validation um, with different parameters of those classifiers looking for the best outcome uh, here without using anything it looks like um, I'm getting up to 75 percent prediction accuracy uh, I haven't used the text data text analytics um, it's a very advanced technique but it is possible to use text to guide those classifiers and improve the overall accuracy so thank you very much for your attention um, I hope you have you're going to have a lot of fun building models the data set which I use here, uh, you could get it um, from the website uh, and I provide the links. So enjoy it and I'll see you in the future. Thank you.